I'm going to demonstrate how to make a wireframe uh, for a mobile first website. And of course, we always start with the planning first. And in this particular example, I'm going to show you, you can see I've just made a very, very simple rudimentary layout from mobile first view. You can see that it's just one item on top of the next in tablet view. I've moved the navigation to the left by making it narrower and placed the section on top of the review section. And in the desktop view, these two are now sitting next to each other. So let's go ahead and see how this can be created. So in Dreamweaver, I go File, New, and you can see the default normally has a margin either side on tablet and in the mobile view, but actually because space is at a premium in these two, I'm going to make it 100% so that there's no margin. I've also gone for a four column layout in mobile view, eight columns in tablet and 12 columns in desktop view. And I could alter these if I wanted, but I'm going to stay with them as they are. You can also see the dimensions, which can also be altered. So I'm going to set that with a style sheet. And I'm giving that a name F test six. And I'm going to immediately save my file that's created. I'm going to save that as test six. So this is my test page. And you'll see that automatically Dreamweaver creates a number of other files. There's a JavaScript file. There's the file that I just saved earlier, the style sheet and a boilerplate CSS file. It's very important not to touch this boilerplate CSS file because this is the file that creates the interactivity that allows you to design more intuitively within Dreamweaver. Right, so let's start with the layout and I click on this container div. And in fact, I can uh, insert my first item, which will be the header. I'm going to call that head six. Uh, then the next thing I'm going to put in is navigation div nav6 and that goes after the header div and then I'm going to put in my section div and again that goes after the navigation I'm going to put in my review div And lastly, I'm going to put in the footer div. And we can see in the mobile phone view, we've got all the items one on top of the other. If I look at the wider view, they're still showing that way as well. But let's go back to the tablet view. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do this wireframe view here for it.